Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Samsung Health Monitoring app. It's a modded version on your Galaxy Watch, but also working on a non Samsung phone. The first thing you want to do is scroll down and choose settings. Go right to the bottom and then about watch. And then we want to go to software information, software version, continuously tap it. And then you'll see developer mode turned on. We back out of this, back into settings. Now we should have an option, developers options. And then ADB debugging. That's what we need. And we just turn that on. Now what we need to do is go to the developers web page, which is on XDA. I've put a link in the description. So we scroll down the page. It's quite far down. And we're going to actually see the app that we need to download. And it's this one here. So we just click on it to download. And then you click on package installer. You might have to wait a little bit, it shouldn't be long. And then that's it, we install it. Once installed, open it. Now it'll tell you if you've got the newest app, you can also refresh it here, if you want to make sure you've got the newest one. Then we go up to watch, press OK, press OK. Now this is where we're going to connect the phone to the watch. So it's asking for the IP address. So we need to find it on the phone. To do this, we go into options or settings, develop options. We scroll down to wireless debugging and turn that on. Now, yours might take a while, but it'll come up with your IP address and your port number. So you click new pair device as your parent code, but you're going to input the rest of your IP address. So yours will be different. So put them in and then I'll put the parent code. And then click start. Now it should be scanning the ports. It's opened it, I click proceed, and it should now connect. And successfully connected, and all done. Now we need to download the watch app, which is this one here. We click it, it generates a link, then you click it again, you go to download. Right, we'll just let that download. Once it's done, we will just dismiss this at the bottom. And then we're going to sideload the APK file we've just downloaded. Select APK. It'll take you to your files and your downloads on your phone. A folder's already been made. You'll have watch. And that's it there. We just click it. And now it should start installing the app on your actual watch. This bit could take a while, just be patient. And that's it, we're done. You might have to grant permissions, mine's already done, but you might have to grant permissions and whitelist the app. You might not. And once that's done, we can back out of the settings on our watch 
and we can find the new app that we've just downloaded, which is there. It looks very similar to the Samsung one. So this is the Samsung one. It won't work because I've got a Google phone and it's you've got to use the Samsung one. But with this modded app, it comes straight on. Now, like the blood pressure, you would need a blood pressure machine to calibrate it. ECG, you can do that there. And the last app that we need to install is the one for the phone. So you click on the watch, download it. It'll take it to the developer's Google Drive page. We need the phone wear app, which is this one. So if we just click it, I'll go to download and install it. Might take a little while, so again, just be patient. I'm gonna speed this bit up here. And there we see it, it's downloading it. And then we install. And that's it. You can open the app, accept, and permissions, just press done. And then you'll need to fill in your personal details. And once you've done that, you just allow. And this is where you would calibrate your watch for blood pressure. And then you have ECG. And then you would, if it was on your wrist, you'd just press it, tell you to go to the phone, and then you'd just go through the prompts. And then it would just do what it needs to do. Once done with the installation, its best policy is to turn off ADB debugging. You're back in your options and turn it off there and also wireless debugging as well. It just saves your battery. So once all done, you can actually go onto your watch. You can go on the original Samsung monitoring app and it'll let you use it on a non-Samsung phone. If you come down to the modded one, we can use it. I'll quickly demonstrate ECG. And it does exactly the same, it sends a notification to your phone, just like the original one does. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, as I will be doing more updates on these watches when the new Samsung UI comes out. Thank you for watching.